what happened here. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Someone tall left this footprint. A man, probably. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the... Charles Hawkins? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in the safe. What killed all these animals? Drake right? put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? kind of chalice.
Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions? Never heard of him. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions? Never heard of him. How many volumes are there? collection. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions? Never heard of him. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe.
How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Things are not looking good. A kind of chalice. gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. And these red drops. Like precious stones lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. The queen has little protection. The Chalice of Knowledge. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message.
This man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, Doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty, yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down when he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but no. What are his symptoms? His temperature has been going down, his skin losing its color, his body rigid. I closed his eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry out, and I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. You did well. Don't worry. Let's stay professional, if you will. I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? Show me his file. That... That's not possible. Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. That'll do for the time being. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Very well. I'll examine him. 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palubral tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin, tender at the touch, slightly sticky. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor, after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. 
What can be happening? I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients, provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, Doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. Really? What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? <sighs> this amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? <laughs>